Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into this video. So as you can see by the title and thumbnail, I do have some exciting news to share with you guys. But I will get more into that later on in the video. But as for now, my nail set, I'm just putting these full cover nail tips that I got from AliExpress. I'm just putting those on with some base coat gel. And I'm doing the oppressed dupe method. I'm just putting some on my natural nail and then also inside the tip. Starting at the cuticle, working my way down to the tip of the nail and then holding it inside the light. And I do have a few videos on these. Soon I will make a playlist of all my oppressed dupe method videos. Just in case you guys are interested, some videos I go more into depth with like explaining everything. But for this one, I'm just going to show you guys this. So once I finish applying the nails after flash curing them, I do put them in back inside the light for another 60 seconds just to make sure that they are fully cured to my nail. And then I go in with a hand file and file lightly around the cuticle area. And this is just to make sure that these nails look natural as possible because I don't like the look like where it look like press on nails. It's just a preference of mine. I don't like that look. So I just go in with the hand file and just file and make it flush to my natural nail. And then once I file around the cuticle area, I do go in and file the tip of the nail just so I can clean up that tip of the nail and also remove that little piece of plastic that comes on these tips sometimes. And once I have finished filing, these are how the nails are looking. As you can see, they look a lot more natural and I do love that look about these. So that's why I do that step. And then next, I'm going to go in with this blue color in the shade Love Fling by Nail Addict. And I'm going to be applying this to my pinky, index, and thumb. I do recommend these gel polishes. The coverage is so nice. It goes on super smooth and the colors are super pigmented. I only needed one coat, but I went in with two. Like just because I felt like it, I honestly didn't need it because as you can see, this first coat here looks good as it is but I do make sure that I clean up around my skin before I go to the next nail also before I cure in a nail light because you don't want it to look messy around your cuticle area so I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat that step on my index and thumb as well and then I'm going to cure in a nail light for 30 seconds And then once I cure, this is just me adding the second layer, the second coat of gel polish. And I will make sure that I leave the link down below. You can also use my code KEY2 at checkout and it will save you 45% off your order with the minimum of two gel polishes. So I do recommend you getting some of these gel polishes. These are super beginner friendly, super affordable, and then you get 45% off. So yeah, it's just a win-win situation. So this is how it looks after I did my second coat and I cured for 30 seconds. So once those came out the light here, I have this color that I mixed. I wanted like a new color, but I didn't want it like too orange. I just mixed the color Text Me Later and this color Sea Swing sea swing and sun that's low key such a tongue twister but yeah i wanted like a a neutral color but like with the text me later color it was a bit too orange so i added some of the other color and i just created this beautiful color here and i'm using one of the little extra brushes that come in a dip powder kit and i'm just applying that color to the rest of the nails and i will go in with two coats of this curing in between each coat for 30 seconds This is how it looks just with one coat and this color is so pretty. And here I'm just going to add the second coat and cure for 30 seconds as well. Thank you. 
with the second coat this is how it looks it looks more opaque i'm just going to cure that as i keep saying but next i'm just going to add some of that blue color to my nail palette with a dotting tool and on the middle finger i'm going to be creating some hearts all over the nail so to create the hearts i'm just starting with the bigger side of the dotting tool and i'm just putting two little dots right beside each other and this is in real time i just want you guys to see how long it takes me or like you know just to see the actual process instead of speeding it up i'm just putting two dots right beside each other and they don't have to connect or you could make them connect because either way like they will touch eventually and i'm just going to do that all the way down the nail Once I finish the last two dots at the bottom, I go in with the smaller side of the dotting tool. I dip it back into the gel polish on the nail palette and I go and make like a V shape with the two dots. I just drag them down to create a little V like I'm doing here and it is super easy. Um, it's not much to explain because as you can see, like you just drag the two dots down. And you just keep doing this for all of the two dots and you cure. And this design is so beginner friendly, like it's so easy to achieve. But yeah, I'm just going to continue doing this for each of the dots. And then once I finish, I will go in and clean up any areas that I feel like I needed to clean. And then I will cure and move on to the next nail. So once I flipped my hand around, I realized the top part was a little bit empty. So I just went ahead and added another little dot at the top. And then I'm going to go in to cure. And I do want to apologize for the noise you guys may hear in the background. That is just my nephew and cousin playing in the living room. So yeah, please ignore that. But once I finish, I move on to my ring finger. And I will be creating a heart right in the center. So I just repeat the same thing that I did for the smaller hearts. Instead, I just make it a lot bigger. So I'm creating the dots right beside each other. And then once I get those dots, I just go and drag that down making the v-shape to connect the heart and I do go in with this smaller side just kind of to clean up that heart make it as perfect as I can just kind of to like you know make that point at the bottom get the edge straight as possible and then once I finish cleaning up any areas and once I get it to my liking I do go ahead and cure for 30 seconds So after being cured, this is what the nail is looking like and that heart was super easy to achieve. So next I'm going to be adding some of these blue rhinestones here. And I don't know how I came up with this design. I just like just decided to use some rhinestones. So I'm pouring some out and I'm adding some top coat to just the heart. Even though it doesn't matter if I get it on the other color, I will eventually go in and add top coat later. So it doesn't matter. But for that moment, I just focused it on that blue area. And then I'm just going to take my wax pencil and just add these rhinestones all over the heart. At first I was just outlining the outside because I thought it was easier but eventually I just started adding some and then I just lined it up later. So I'm just going to be filling in this whole heart with these blue rhinestones and I did try to do it as good as I could because since the lines on the heart are straight and these rhinestones are circular it was kind of hard to like pat these all in together without it being like over the lines so I did as good best as I could and once I got that to my liking I just cured for 30 seconds. So as you guys saw by the title and thumbnail in the part of the video you guys have been waiting for this entire time, the wait is over. But before I get into all of that, I just want to say that Nail Addict LA reached out to me to do a giveaway and they are sponsoring this giveaway. I am truly honored for a company who is as good as them with these great quality gel polishes. Like It is such an honor and I'm super excited to be doing this. Hopefully we have more collabs in the future. But to get into the rules for this giveaway, 
you must be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Secondly, you must be following their Facebook and Instagram. I will make sure that I link it down below and also leave it on the screen if I remember to put it. The third thing you have to do is comment your favorite shade of their gel polishes. You either can comment your favorite from any of my Nail Addict LA videos or you can go to their website and browse a little bit and come back and comment your favorite shade of gel polish. That's all you have to do to be entered. There will be one lucky winner and the prize is eight gel polishes. I'm not sure if you'll be able to pick them yourself or they just send them, but you will get eight gel polishes and this giveaway lasts until Friday, May the 7th. So you do get a whole week to enter. Make sure you guys are following all the instructions and rules and good luck. So once I was done adding those rhinestones, I'm just going in with some top coat from a cart. And I'm just going to be applying this over all the nails. And once I get that applied, I'm just going to cure for 60 seconds. And then of course, after being cured, I just go in with my Cherry Blossom Scented Cuticle Oil over my cuticles. I've rubbed that in. And this is how my nails turn out. I just did a super simple set, but the hearts on my middle finger, I am absolutely in love with those. This is my first time trying this, and I will be doing these in future videos. The rhinestone hearts, love it and this color is just super beautiful but yeah this is how the nails turn out comment down below what you guys think i love these and make sure that you follow all the rules to be entered into the giveaway and be on the lookout for the win the winner next friday i will post it on my community tab here on youtube and as always if you have made it this far don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video